Okay. Today I want to talk about being coachable. Now this is a big topic because uh, I, you know, I talk to a lot of people. I talk to a lot of people doing what I do as far as speaking and as far as coaching and being a personal trainer and being a coach to people. And when I, when people reach out to me and they just want to ask questions and find out, like, you know, what it's all about as far as being coached or being trained, like personal training style, I can tell pretty much, you know, right away if people are coachable or not. And it's not even necessarily having to do with just being coachable as far as personal training is concerned. So this being coachable idea is really kind of universal in life in general because being coachable, being um, when you're working on yourself, right, self uh, improvement. You want to be coachable no matter where you're trying to improve in your life. So this idea of being coachable came to me today because I met with a new client that I'm going to be working with as a personal trainer and I'm super excited because she is super coachable and she's ready to go. So it really you know, made me think about what it means to be coachable because I used to not be coachable. Like I used to be all of the things that I'm about to talk about, and um, and so I was lucky enough to really get some self awareness about it and learn more about how to be coachable, and that's helped me tremendously because I wouldn't have gone through my transformation if I wasn't coachable. I wouldn't have learned everything that I've learned up to this point if I wasn't coachable. So I think it's super important to be coachable. And that's what I want to talk about today. So where do we need coaches, right? What is coaching? Coaching is when you have someone outside of you telling you, instructing you, guiding you, giving you some guidance, giving you guidance. That's a coach, right? We have coaches in all types of things. The number one that we think about, where do you always think about having a coach, right? It's on sports teams. Now, that's the first place we think about. But there's also coaches when it comes to business, and then there's coaches when it comes to fitness, right? Like a, a personal trainer or a coach, um, you know, and then there's even life coaches, right? There's, there's life coaches now. And so oh, in every aspect of life, there's some sort of coach or mentor that we can look to, to gain guidance and knowledge and just, you know, be helped along the way towards reaching our goals. So the, those are the places where we have coaches. And what does it mean to be coachable, right? What does it mean to be coachable? Because even though these coaches exist, are we ready to be coached by these people? So what does it mean to be coachable? What I want to cover is who's not coachable, all right? Who is not coachable? These are the people or the mindsets of people that aren't coachable, okay? The first is the know-it-alls, right? And we all experience these types of people, the people that know it all, right? They know it they know everything there is to know about everything. And this, this blows my mind. And quite honestly, I used to be one of these guys. I used to know it all. I used to be the you know, person who would listen to a conversation. And there was a joke about this on The Office, which I love. They, they made the joke about Oscar in The Office. But I used to listen to a conversation. And if someone was trying to talk about a certain subject or a fact or something, I'd be the guy that would jump in and be. And I would say, well, actually, and then I would try and like, insert myself into the conversation with what I knew was right about the conversation that they were having. Like, I knew it all, right? I knew the answer to everything. And a know-it-all is not coachable. A know-it-all is not coachable because they know it all already. A coach is someone who's going to come in and give you guidance and give you something new to think about. And know-it-alls, they are not coachable. So that's the first type of person. The second type of person is someone who is too much of a private person, too closed off, right? Now, I totally understand being private and being, you know, having your own things, um, having your own things being private and, and to yourself. Uh, I'm not a very, not a too private person. I'm, I'm pretty open about things and I've gotten more open about things as I learn more about life. And one of the things that I've found is that someone that is too private, too closed off is not coachable. These type of people are not coachable because they're not open to any sort of outside suggestion. 
So that's the second type of person. Third type of person is the person who is afraid to learn something new. And this is really difficult because, again, it kind of all blends in uh, to the know-it-alls, right? Know-it-alls, they definitely, you know, don't feel they have anything new to learn. Uh, they may learn, right? But it may be from someone else. And they may, they may feel that they can learn it on their own. They can learn things on their own. They don't need to listen to anybody else to learn anything, right? So, and then there's people that are just afraid of learning new things. There's the, the, they just feel like, oh, they, they, they've got it. Everything is good in their lives, and they don't need to learn anything new. Most of the time, these are people that need the most help. People that are complaining or, or complaining about something that they need that they're having an issue with, and they they don't want to listen to anybody else. They don't want to learn anything new, right? And just the simple fact of learning something new and gaining knowledge every single day. You know, they say we learn something new every day. A lot of people don't because they're not open to learning something new every day, and that's unfortunate. So that's the third type of person that is not coachable. So if you're a know-it-all, if you're closed off, if you're too private, if you're afraid to learn something new, then you're not coachable. So what can you do? You need to be the opposite of of those things in order to be coachable. Um, now, what happens is, okay, so here's the things that you got to be ready for to be coachable, okay? You got to be ready for something new. You got to be ready to be open to a new experience, right? Now, most of the time when we're looking for a coach, it's because we're maybe struggling with something, maybe we're stopped, we've gotten as far as we can and we need help getting further. Um, if it's time to look for a coach and it's time to get some guidance, you have to be willing to learn something new, right? You got to be ready for something new. It can be anything. It can be knowledge, like if it's business, it's going to be, you know, knowledge about how to work your business. If it's a fitness coach, you got to be ready for some movement, so ready for eating differently. Uh, there's going to be a lot involved with that. So there's different things with the different types of coaches, right? So you got to be ready for something new. The second thing is you got to be ready for fast change, for change to happen quickly in your life because even though we may try and make changes on our own, a lot of the time when we are doing it on our own and if we're struggling, we are not making progress the way we should be or the way we can be. Now, like T. Marie, she lives, uh, her motto is live your best life now. She makes it happen. It's like immediate. It is results immediately and, and it is awesome. She is a great coach because she makes things happen quickly. And when you have a mentor and when you have a coach, you actually make things happen faster. So it's a really awesome thing. You can go from like zero to 60 in zero to 60 in less than 60 seconds. Well, anyway, you're going to go from zero to 60 very quickly, right? That's the whole point. You're going to make moves faster. So whether it's with business, if you get a business coach, your business will excel faster. If you're working with a fitness coach, you're going to get to your health goals faster, your fitness goals faster. So your life coach, your life coach will definitely help you achieve your goals faster. Having an outside guidance and an outside coach is going to help you see things in a new way so that you can get to things faster. So, and then the third thing, the third thing that you got to be ready for is you got to be ready to pay for it. Okay, now this is the crazy part because a lot of people, they will search for coaches and mentors and there's a lot out there that's free. I mean, I talk to a lot of people for free. I do a lot of free consultations and just answering questions and emails and a lot of these videos that I do, I answer questions that people, you know, bring to me and that's totally cool. And there's a lot of people out there that will do it. Like there's, you know, tons of people that have a certain level of information that they can give out for free and that they can kind of just give to everybody. But at some point, if you are truly serious about achieving your goal and really want to do something, you will have to pay a coach to help you. And it's money well spent because you're putting skin in the game and it shows that you're serious, right? You're accountable for something. And also really coaching is an interactive an interactive experience. It's, you know, asking questions and getting answers. It's not just watching a video and then getting an answer that you think is kind of tailored for you but may not be tailored for you. I mean, it really is a back and forth. Even with some of the videos that I give and some of the questions that I may answer, I mean, especially when it comes to fitness and nutrition, it's very tailored to specific people. So it's very hard to answer questions specifically like, 
through a video. So when it comes to coaching, I mean, it really is interactive. It's going back and forth. It's trying new things. It's really seeing where you're at specifically and building a program that's specific for you. So any coach will do this. Any coach will do this. If it's a business coach, a fitness coach, a life coach, they're going to sit down with you and tailor your program to you. And that's worth, that's worth money. That's worth paying for because Again, it's making you accountable. It's paying for that person's service, knowledge, and experience because they're taking their time, they've studied, they have a wealth of knowledge, and they're going to be able to guide you. So that's the last thing. So you gotta be ready for something new, you gotta be ready for fast change, and you gotta be ready to pay for it. These are all great things that can occur. So that's what coachable means. Are you ready? Are you coachable? So I want you to think about it. I want you to comment in the comments below or in the chat or in the comments on the video, whichever you prefer. And let me know where you're struggling or you need some coaching maybe. Um, you know, I always tell people, look, if it's with fitness and nutrition, like I don't care. Uh, like I'm a personal trainer, I'm a coach, but it, you, it doesn't even have to be me, okay? It doesn't have to be me. Go to your local gym and find somebody. Find somebody that you feel comfortable with online that you can work with. Just get that guidance. Get that guidance, get that help because you're going to see a complete change in your life if you do get guidance. The best teams in every single sport, if you look at all the players, all the most awesome players on that team, there's also going to be an awesome coach, right? Phil Jackson and the Bulls, right? I mean, there was uh, Scottie Pippen, uh, Michael Jordan, and Dennis Rodman, but it couldn't have happened without Phil Jackson. You see what I'm saying? So a coach is super important. A coach will take you to where you want to be immediately, quickly. So are you coachable? Where, do you, where can you look in your own life and see where you can kind of open up to be coachable, right? So if you have any questions, let me know. You can contact me at my website, disableyourdisability.com. I put it in the video description. And, you know, I really look forward to hearing from you guys. I'll be back tomorrow at 7 o'clock. And I'm gonna, tomorrow I'm going to talk about frustration. So I'm going to give you a little teaser. Tomorrow I'm going to talk about being frustrated what that means, and how we can work to get out of being frustrated, right? In situations where maybe we're not coachable yet, and we're a little frustrated with life and with our fitness and our health, and we're trying to get out of it. So join me tomorrow at 7, and I will be talking about that, all right? So if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll answer them in future videos, or contact me on my website if you want to talk one-on-one, -on -one. and I appreciate you guys. Thanks for tuning in. We will see you tomorrow. Peace.